Oh, here we are on time today. And I will take my temperature. I have a funny story to share with you after I take my temp. Ninety-eight point eight. Yesterday, I had to go to the library to pick up some materials, and I had to have my temperature taken. But because I had been out for a couple of hours walking, my body temperature kept registering low. And so I told the guy, oh, I've got my own gun, the security guy. That's the wrong thing to say to a security guy. I've got my own gun. He said, what? You've got a what? I was like, oh, no, a temperature gun. But mine registered low also because I was cold. Anyway, I picked up the materials I needed. Uh, Prince brought some friends along today, it seems. I remember when my co-host was here last week, she was playing with this one. And this one, I forgot their names, don't tell her. Um, I thought I had another one of the series to read to you today, but I realized that last week she and I did these two with you. So I haven't got another story from that series, but I will read one that she requested when she was here. I read it before, but it's always fun to revisit things you like best. David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. He doesn't look very happy. Uh-oh. The other guest fell. Sit up. Or oh, are you ready for your nap already? Oh, I forgot to put on some music for you. Okay. My voice will have to suffice. David gets in trouble. How many of you have gotten in trouble at one time or another? I know I have. Let's see. This is an author's note. I'll read it to you. A few years ago, my mother sent me a book I made when I was a little boy. It was illustrated with drawings of David doing all sorts of things he wasn't supposed to do. And the text consisted entirely of the words, no, and David. They were the only words I knew how to spell. I thought it would be fun to make a new version celebrating all the time on it ways moms say no. Like the original, it was called No David. In the sequel, David Goes to School, David found out that his teacher had her own ways of saying no. Well, now it's David's turn to speak, and it turns out that no is a big part of his vocabulary, too. Of course, when his mom says no, it's because she worries about his safety and she wants him to grow up to be a good person. Deep down, she's really saying, I love you. But when David says no, it usually means I don't want to get in trouble. This is the dedication down here. To my little troublemaker, Emma, and to Heidi, her mom, who has to say no. When David gets in trouble, he always says, No, it's not my fault. I didn't mean to. It was an accident.
Do I have to? <laughs> I forgot. My dog ate my homework! I couldn't help it. I was hungry. But she likes it. How about that? It slipped. But Dad says it. It wasn't me. I love you, Mom. Oh, get out the action. I love you, Mom. And you know what I tell you at the end of the story? What time is it? It's time for you to go take your nap.